Greg for now Mendoza Smithstead. Uh, I've just been to this wonderful lecture about Pio Pico. Uh, it was uh, uh, given very informatively. Uh, I study the Anza Trail uh, and in particular the people on the Anza Trail. So we of course appreciate the Pico family. Uh, they married uh, into the Arbayo family and my point was that the uh, Arbayo uh, family uh, was from Mar Maria Feliciana Arbayo. You can't see this, but this is uh, uh, from a book called Felicianus California by Esther Comstock. And Feliciana was a, uh, a, young, a young widow with two children, one of which then was Pio Pico's uh, grandmother, maternal grandmother, mm -hmm. uh, Maria Estacia Gutierrez. And so her story is recorded in the journals for the Anza expedition. Wonderful woman. And she, uh, again, uh, we found the birth record for her, for uh, Feliciano Arbayo. And it's listed in Mission 2000 database from Tumacacri as being mulatto libre, which is a free slave or free African Hispanic, which we find has very uh, fascinating. She ends up with uh, children and grandchildren who do very great things in California during the Spanish and Mexican period, among uh, Pio Pico. My own heritage is from the Bernal family. My grandmother's Velma Bernal. And so the Bernals, uh, of course, knew all of the Californios up and down uh, California, Alta California. Thank you very much. I saw you up at the Juan Abriones exhibition. Yes. What, uh, what do you have to tell us about that? Well, she's another interesting uh, person, very strong. Uh, what what uh, reason why I made my point during the lecture is that not only in uh, Alta California were the men uh, very prominent in in history and policy making, but the women as well. And so Juana Briones gives us one, but one example of a California woman who goes from the mission period to the Mexican period to the American period and survives because of her strength and because of how women were treated here in the northern frontier of, of New Spain. So that exhibit uh, gives, again, the genealogy uh, for uh, uh, Juana Briones from the Briones and Miranda families. Um, her uh, genealogy also has uh, Mexican and Indian influences. She, she adopts a native child. So you can see that race in Alta California means something different than what we usually uh, know from uh, East Coast American culture. This is an American culture here on the West Coast, but it has a different way of viewing uh, race uh, a, a lot more integrated because of Hispanic influences. So that's what I find more, most uh, interesting about that. The, um the, were you involved at all in the efforts to save the house? Yes, I was uh, one of the ones who helped to hold the tape measure as we were measuring the house. Uh, Al Camarillo uh, was there making his video that you can see at the uh, exhibition. Uh, and we crawled down into the basement and we found adobe bricks. And what's significant about that is that they were insignificant. They were not part of the structure of the house. The structure of the house was very uh, unique. But the bricks were just laid around as if they were part of a foundation for something older, not really forming any purpose. And that uh, house was uh, once uh, owned, that land, uh, La Purisima Concepcion, was owned by uh, Santa Clara Mission Indians, the family of uh, an Indian named Gorgonia, Gorgonia. And he sold it to Juan Briones. So there is a possibility that these bricks were from an older period, an older structure, and the diseño or land map for La, uh, La Purisima Concepcion in Santa Clara County, it's a, a northern uh, rancho from Santa Clara County, uh, now in Palo Alto, Los Altos, uh, that that uh, it, structure could have been part of their house, and then Juana changed it into hers. So that's uh, one of the things. So I was uh, taken by that, and so when the house was deconstructed, I uh, made friends with the uh, deconstruction uh, consultant and uh, obtained many of the materials, and then uh, uh, recently uh, was able to donate uh, many of them uh, to the efforts to uh, show the wall 
I had the nails, I had the, the mud that was in between, I had the boards, and so we were able to help to uh, restore the wall, one of the two walls that have been saved. And in fact, I still have in my garage uh, many of the materials and we'll be donating them. So uh, that's one of the things that I do. I'm interested in uh, the history of the Californias, no matter where, they, where the, the reach is. History San Jose is our partner. Uh, they help us to uh, hold reenactments here at uh, History San Jose and at the Peralta Adobe uh, every year. And so it's part of this network of people uh, like yourself who study uh, California history.